Good morning and happy Memorial Day. It is May 29th. Um, we're back out here on trail, pushing north. Um, I know yesterday's video kind of ended abruptly. Basically what happened was we got to uh, the entrance to the state park. Weather was terrible. It was constantly uh, deteriorating. It was about 40 degrees, super windy. All our rain gear uh, basically started wetting out or did wet out. And so we got wet underneath our uh, shells and uh, it got dangerous. Just being honest, it got, it's probably the most dangerous I've, uh, encounter I've had so far out here. We were all cold, shivering, wet. And so I wasn't stopping to video anything. It was just the push was on to Massey Gap and uh, which is where Cole, a shuttle driver, picked us up. We pushed as, as quick and as safely as we could to get there, but there was lots of, uh, there was, uh, lots of rock scrambles, lots of slippery uh, slopes and rocks to come down. It was, it was a mess, um, but we got dry, we got showers, we got fed. Um, so the day turned around and that's probably why and how we're back out here this morning. The plan today is to do about 18 and I think the weather's going to be the same. So there may not be a whole lot of videos today, but, um, still haven't seen any ponies in here. People rave about how beautiful Grayson Highlands is. Maybe it'll turn around today, but so far it has not been beautiful. <laughs> it's been terrible, but that's just the that's the cards you know uh, i was dealt coming through here with the weather and all anyway all right well um got dropped back off at massey gap this morning about 7 15 did a 0. 0.6 to get back to the trail and then now i've done i don't know 0. 0.2 or 0. 0.3 up until this point and uh, i had to readjust my pack so figured i'd do a quick little video just to document that the day is starting but as you can tell in the distance, it's nasty out here. Um, it's raining a little bit, but thank God it's not as cold as it was yesterday. Not yet, anyway. Hopefully the temperature will only increase. I think it's 50 right now. And uh, man, if that wind would lay down. I normally like being in these open spots and prairies and stuff, but with the wind, I've been begging to get back in a tree line somewhere. I ain't lying. But anyway, that's what's going on. Getting ready to push north. Let's go. Well, looks like I'm leaving Grayson Highland State Park. Just came completely through there without seeing not one wild pony. Maybe there's still some in the area. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people say this is like their favorite part of the trail. I don't know if it's just the weather right now. This place, there's, <laughs> this is not nice. Like, <laughs> the trail condition's terrible. Like, just looks like a bomb went off. Like, just rocks all over the trail i mean more so than the rest of the at and uh i don't know like pony poop everywhere like no good views i don't know maybe it's just my experience in this weather but i give this place like a d minus like and the at tracks do east to come here instead of heading northeast so uh yeah a bunch of miles and time i'm completely underwhelmed completely anyway all about grayson highlands <laughs> think we've had some rain <laughs> maybe just a little bit this place is called the scales the waypoint on here Says it's just a large horse corral. No idea what they use it for. Well, I guess to corral horses. <laughs> Looks like there's some people camping here. But other than that, that's really all about, about all I know about it. That's the AT there. 
coming up in here. Alright. Where are we getting from? It is actually pretty through here and the rain's kind of stopped a little bit. Golly, look at that blue sky way off in the under. I don't know if it's going to open up for us today or not. Not over here. It's out there somewhere. That's where we're headed. Through the gate. So I just had lunch with PBJ at uh, Old Orchard Shelter. We stopped there for lunch. And the weather has cleared for right now. Thank God, and it's not freezing anymore, which we did drop below 5,000 feet. So uh, that might have something to do with the wind laying down and it not being as cold. So uh, we're dropping down now into Fox Creek Gap, something like that. It's one of the Virginia highway crossings. Um, they have like a, there's like supposed to be like a privy and a garbage can there and all that kind of stuff. But we're just gonna be, we're gonna be just crossing there, pushing through. Um, and then we've got another climb. We're still a little chilly and damp. And uh, so I hope in this next climb, it's like 700 feet, something like that. It's not very big, but hoping it's enough to, uh, to get us warmed up and maybe dry it out a little bit. So, and then from there, uh, we drop again, and uh, we haven't had any service, so we don't know if the weather's out of here. We uh, have no idea. I can't check anything. But um, anyway, still have that place booked at uh, Grayson Base Camp. PPJ's uh, going to come with me to that. So that'll, uh, we'll split, split everything on that. That works out really good. And uh, so it's kind of even wash. He helped me out last night with the uh, having a place to stay and uh, getting out of the weather and warming up and everything. And so tonight I'll uh, I have the place booked and uh, we'll be able to do laundry and maybe this weather system, the big one anyway, is out of here and uh, things. We'll simmer down a little bit. <laughs> anyway, that's the plan. Day is definitely turning around. All right, talk to y'all in a bit. So about 0.8 away from Hurricane Shelter. Got just a little bit of service right now, like one bar. And uh, according to the people at base camp, that should have that all the way up until Hurricane Shelter. And uh, then after that, no more service. Um, for the for the for the rest of where we're trying to get to today. So um, the way this is going to work is when we, we get to hurricane shelter we get ready to leave uh we'll call them and let them know that and give them an uh, estimated time of getting to dickey gap which is where we're shooting for today and uh that'll put us five miles out from dickey gap but not gonna have any service between there so uh gonna have to be diligent on planning so usually including brakes and the random meandering around out here sometimes i think the average is about two miles an hour is that's pretty close to 
I mean, if you, we really want to get it and get somewhere, I mean, we were probably doing like three miles an hour yesterday uh, evening trying to get, get out of all that weather. But, um, you know, not in any hurry out here. Just, you never know who you're gonna run into, talk to. Sometimes folks wanna have a conversation with you, even when you got places to be. It's just like the real world. But anyway, so we'll probably, whatever time it ends up being, we're gonna leave from Hurricane Shelter. We'll probably tell them like two and a half hours. Be my guess. I'll to talk to John here in a minute, see what he thinks. But that's probably what we're gonna do. And, uh, Hope they're there when we get there. <laughs> if not, I'm sure we'll figure something out. We'll hitch if we have to. We've done that before. So anyway, we got plans, but also kind of winging it or something like that. Still kind of in random out here, but uh, that's all right. It's okay. So anyway, as you can tell by my attire, the weather has dramatically changed. The sun came out for a little bit now I'm back into like some kind of cloud, but the rain has stayed off and it has warmed up considerably. I bet it's probably, I don't know, like 65, something like that. Way, way, way better than what we had going on yesterday and really even this morning. The shuttle driver this morning thought we were nuts for coming back out here <clears throat> and even said like, all right, y'all call or text me in a minute when y'all are ready to get back off. But, uh, oop, we, uh, we're handling business out here. So anyway, make it to Dickey Gap. That's going to make it about an 18-mile day. So we are moving right along. Ain't a little bit of rain going to completely hold up the train. So I'm sure lots of people took a zero today just because it looked nasty this morning. But, man, it sure has turned around, and I'm glad. Um... I'm glad we didn't burn up a zero today. So anyway, rest of the week, calling for rain every day, but it's it's like typical summertime rain. It ain't, it's just, you know, that's just stuff to deal with. The, yesterday and today were supposed to be the, the real events. And um, today's not over with yet, but it almost, you know, you can see the end. So um, yeah, hopefully we've pushed through this event and uh we're getting further and further away from mount rogers which is kind of the last uh bit of elevation like high high elevation uh for a while and uh so that affects obviously temperatures wind all that so anyway that's what's going on now let me try to get on down to this shelter and uh we're probably gonna get us a snack and figure out the rest of the day. All right, talk to y'all in a bit. All right, able to make the phone call. Barely had one bar, but it got out. And uh, told her two hours for the uh, five miles. So the push is on. Shouldn't be nothing to it though. We got this. Anyway, let's go. All right, everybody. And here we are. Dickey Gap. Right here on Virginia 650. Wrapping this dude up. 